Hi, my name is Roger and my channel is about being a musician and all things surrounding a musician. And in my series, Does Gear Matter? I'm gonna get help from a friend today. Here he is, Erik. <laughs> Erik Jadlund. <laughs> yeah. Great to see you, man. Yeah, great to see you too. Come with my two snares, my cymbals, most importantly, my Red Bull. <laughs> Let's go, man. Let's go. <laughs> What are we going to do here? Oh my god, take a seat and listen, this is going to take time, no I'm just kidding. So now the, the idea is to uh, compare uh, Roger's cheap kit snare, uh, oh what, what do you say, uh, what do you call this, I don't know, the, it came with a set, sorry for my rusty English by the way. So now we're going to see if my um, a little bit more expensive snare drum sound better or different or if there are any advantages of <laughs> spending money on this kind of <laughs> stuff. So this is a snare drum that uh, has performed together with me and Roger on a couple of... Uh, what, uh, what is it? This is a Yamaha uh, Maple Custom Absolute. And the price tag on that is uh, about... I guess around $700. $700, Six, yeah. Seven. And they are not made anymore, so now they are becoming more expensive on eBay. And this is uh, an old uh, Yamaha Maple Custom, regular Maple Custom. Yeah. A little thicker. And this you can get a nice Steve Gadd sound, kind of. So, I hope there is a difference, otherwise I will shoot myself <laughs> after this. <laughs> no, sorry. We try some sounds first of all uh, set the drum set as would you want it yeah so you feel comfortable yeah, yeah. How, how important is that it's less and less uh, important for me because I was very OCD in, in the beginning but now actually it's it's quite important that it's uh, I'm used to the height of everything uh, let's do a sound check the silver headphones I prepared for you oh yeah cool uh, and the volume knob you have on the thing there no, oh, cool. the other knob, I think. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> Maybe I should go and press play. Yeah, yeah. Do you hear everything? Yeah, I do. A and it, as you, is it okay? It's very, it's really good. It, it's the volume too loud. And most important, is the ride sounding okay? Oh, no, man. sorry, man. I'm actually ready, I think. <laughs> That's an old joke we had. Uh, we performed with an artist, and the artist asked the band, me, that was the band leader, uh, do you feel okay with this? And Eric asked the artist, does the, so uh, does the ride sound okay? <laughs> oh, my God. The sound the sound is okay and yeah. it really sounds like that snare drum. It does, yeah. Yeah. Oh my god. Cool. Uh, shall we try different snares now? Yeah, let's try it. So shall we do a real recording with this first? Yeah, yeah. Okay. A real recording does that mean I have to play good? <laughs> <laughs> so this is the first recording and we're gonna use the kit snare drum yeah. that comes with my drum kit. I would say that the price tag on that, if you bought it separately, would be like $100? What oh, yeah. do you think? Probably, yeah. 100 150 Yeah, I would guess. Yeah. So it's not the cheapest snare drum you can find, but it's not expensive at all. No. How does it feel to play on? Oh, it feels good. It feels yeah. okay. So this... Uh, um lend itself more to rim shots, but uh, to be consistent, I play without yeah. rim shots. Yeah, so we can compare the yeah, snare drums. Yeah.
Great, shall we change the snare drum? Yeah, let's what, do it. What snare drum do you want? Uh, we can um, start with the, the one to the left there. The orange one. Yeah. Oh, this is going to be super exciting. Eric, that is a very good drummer. He's also famous for having low tune snare drums. Yeah. And, and, and I'm, I don't mean low tune like in low tune. I mean like uh, we had a gig and I was trying out his drum kit and I couldn't play on it because it felt like playing on a swimming pool. <laughs> it was so low. <laughs> it was so low. But I think he have tuned it a little bit higher now, more normal range, so to speak. Yeah, I think this is uh, a little mi a bit more within the audible range for humans now. <laughs> Wonderful. Oh. Uh, how did it feel to play on that one? Yeah, and, and it's uh, so low, so I can barely hear it, but it feels, I guess, good. But... It sounded totally differently. Yeah. Uh, I don't know which one is better. We will we'll check that yeah. later. So we can try the, the, the third and last now, then. Yep. Cool. Shall we listen? Listen to only the drums first. Yeah, maybe that. This is the first snare drum. Yeah, yeah. Pretty snappy. Maybe we should try it in context. Yeah, yeah, we can start like that, yeah. Everywhere I go What do you say about that sound? Yeah, I think I... Would not be bothered by it if I heard it like that. It's not the best sound for the song, no. but it's not a bad snare sound. Uh, let's listen to the next snare drum. Oh, it sounds really good, actually. This sounds oh, really awesome. Oh Lord, thank you, God. You, <laughs> oh my God, I don't have to shoot myself now. It, that sounds awesome, and it's also <laughs> extremely good for the song. It, it is, it is. A, a large but That's a winner, yeah. that's a winner. It is probably, probably it is. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that's a really, really good snare drum for this song. Yeah. But if we would have done more of a punk, uh, hard, dirty reg reggae or something, Yeah. I would have preferred the first like Yeah, that. of course. Yeah, yeah. Especially if I played rim shots. Yeah. yeah. It was very fun to play that way. Yeah. Let's listen to the third one. Yeah. Oh my god. Not oh, bad. Oh Not Lord. bad. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Seriously, it sounds like it's produced, compressed, everything. It's and, just, oh my god, it sounds like a sample. So that's why you should never use samples, kids. No, just kidding. Sorry. And I have to say that uh, in this, I have no plugins whatsoever on the snare drum. A tiny little bit of reverb to fit it into the mix. That's it. I have processed the other tracks in the drums a little bit, like the kick drum and the overheads. Nothing on the snare drum. There's no EQ, no compression, <laughs> nothing. <laughs> I'm really let's happy, do, I'm so relieved, wow. Let's do a comparison with uh, only the snare drums, yeah. where we only listen to the snare drum in solo. Not bad. It's a bit snappy. It is, yeah. Yeah. I think this could be really aggressive sounding, in a good way. Yeah. Next snare drum. Yeah, I have to not shout that tone, yeah, yeah, but the yeah. sound is really good. It has so much bottom end. It has, yeah. You can use that as a kick. Yeah, yeah, actually. <laughs> it would still yeah, have to cut out some bass from it. Yeah. And the third. Oh, wow! So, like this, that sounded the best to me, but... I, I like the second one yeah. in the song. Yeah, yeah. But by itself the third one sounds yeah. most produced yeah. already how did it feel to play them did all drums feel good to play on actually the first drum 
sounded almost best because I could hear it the most. Okay. So in this situation, it sounded. It was actually maybe the funnier to play. Really? Yeah. Strange enough, but it the sheep, the, same, the sheep's kind of. drum was most enjoyable to play. It, yeah, in this situation, yeah. How do you benefit from buying a expensive snare drum when no one, including me, yeah. and I have trained ears, yeah, yeah, uh, could hear the difference between a two thousand dollars snare yeah. drum and a two hundred dollars? I know drum. it is weird. It's uh, it has to do a little bit what genre you play. Is it a big difference with the response of the playing? Yeah, it can be in the. How easy the the mecha- how do you say the hardware? Yeah. So you pay for that and kind of the whole package, but it's hard to describe. But sometimes I, uh, if there are a lot of backline snares, I pick a cheaper snare. Yeah. Because it happens to be uh, a fresher head, for example. Yeah. That's very important. Do you so. <laughs> do you change snare drum depending on what type of gig you have, what sound you're after? Yeah, I do. Yeah. So I have mostly. Although I have maybe 30 snare drums. 30? <laughs> yeah, I'll boil it out to maybe one for jazz. 30? Yeah, I know it's I'm, I'm mentally ill. <laughs> so, but I usually... In, in you the, need help. I, I know! <laughs> I need help <laughs> in many ways. Does gear matter? Yes and no. But of course, uh, people are blown away, including sound engineers, when I bring my Maple Custom Absolute. Tune it perfectly. You you don't have to do anything. It just sounds amazing. So of course it's now you're saying that how you take care of the stuff yeah. is even more important yeah, than the stuff uh, you have. Yeah. Mostly. What kind of heads you have? How you tune it? Yeah. How you take care of it? Yeah. The playing uh, articulation, maybe also. Yeah. Because different drums need different articulations. Some yeah. drums like to be hit hard yeah. and some drums don't like to be hit hard exactly. we, we tested snare drums yeah, uh, here yeah. because it was my suggestion because I'm not a drummer even though I sheet on drums a little bit but I have been engineer a lot both live and in studio and for me the snare drum and maybe the hi-hat but the snare drum is the most important part of the kit oh, because yes. if that doesn't is good from the beginning it's really hard to make the kit sound good yeah i can always save the kick drum and the toms and so but i can't save the snare drum no and that for me uh, a a whole gig um (laughs) has been ruined a lot of times because of the snare drum. Really? So I've hated every every hit. Oh, so, and you and you hit the snare drum pretty. Yeah, long. I know. So of course gear matters, but for me, when it comes to drums and other things also, but we have drums as an example for this video. Gear matters mostly for inspiration and time saving. Yeah. Because you can have cheaper gear, more affordable gear. If you take care of it in a proper way and have good tuning on a drum yeah. and good head on a drum, you can make it sound amazing. Yeah. But with a more professional type of drum, it's easier to get that sound. Yeah, it is. Mm. And and some some studio engineers seem to they have only work with but even drummers are not good at tuning most often. So so it should be possible to use a well-tuned drum kit then you you wouldn't have to use samples really no. but i think since most drum sets uh, sound pretty bad most snares are tuned too high but now there's a trend that uh, a lot of more people are using low tuned st- snare drums so i think uh, people are getting yeah, better yeah yeah low tune not eric low tune. no exactly there's a difference <laughs> <laughs> oh lord, this is, tragically enough, this is the first time i play played drums in a long time now. But I'm going to get ba- back at it now. So. Yeah, hopefully we can open yeah, up yeah. more now. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so let me ask you, what is the Swedish word of today? It's snare drum. And in Swedish it is? Virveltrumma, or just virvel. <laughs> virveltrumma. And roger that. Roger that.